I'm really excited to bring up this next presenter for Writer of the Year. Please welcome our presenter, Wallace Bain. Thank you very much. Ye shall know a community by the food it produces. It's a very 19th century idea, but it's a very American idea, but it's uh, very pertinent today in Santa Cruz County in 2018. Uh, thanks largely to a new book called Harvesting Our Heritage, which is available now at Bookshop Santa Cruz, the Museum of Art and History and other places. And it is the product of our winner tonight of Writer of the Year. Um, it is a four-headed honoree that we're honoring tonight. Um, we writers usually have great envy to musicians because they get to play in bands together. Um, but sometimes writers get to play in bands together, and that was the case with our honorees tonight for Writers of the Year, who took five years to write this uh, wonderful tale of Santa Cruz County told through its agriculture. And it is Santa Cruz's story told through eggs and dairy and beer and even the fun things like pismo clams and olali berries. Um, <laughs> And there's even, if you ever want to know how to make ice cream yourself, there's a recipe in here for that. It's a wonderful uh, um, way to support your local writers. And I want to, um, uh, I want to uh, be sure to congratulate our winners of the year this year. Jody Bergil Kolkloff, Elizabeth Birnbaum, Katie Hansen, and Sierra Ryan, our Writers of the Year for 2018. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you, Wallace. That was a beautiful introduction. So this book was inspired by the discovery of a 110-year-old family recipe it, family recipe book <laughs> in an attic in Live Oak. We wondered what Santa Cruz was growing and cooking and eating over the last century <laughs> and beyond. So we dove into local archives. We've been very busy. <laughs> Partnered with the Museum of Art and History and wrote a digestible journey into the past. The book that we wrote was the book that we wanted to read. We wanted Ellery to read, too. <laughs> Harvesting Our Heritage tells the, the story of Santa Cruz through the lens of food, history, and recipes. We chose 12 crops, some of which you just heard, and each of these tells a piece of the story of local food. The process of writing with three other voices could have been challenging, but instead we formed a harmony. And we were so overjoyed to win an XD. Uh, no, no, I think we were really more humbly excited, right? Well, we were also exhilarated. How about radiantly thrilled and exalted? Uh, uh, okay, how, how about honored and humbled? Yeah, yeah. That, okay, that works. <laughs> Receiving the support of the Museum of Art and History Publications Committee, <laughs> the Arts Council of Santa Cruz County, Researchers Anonymous, and um, uh, the History Forum have been key markers on our journey, and we are continually grateful for all the support that we've received from the community. Oh. So, <laughs> so follow your curiosity. Ours led us to, to local archives and the public library, where there's still so much to be discovered. Also, support your local history museums and enjoy the year-round farmers markets and this rich food community that Santa Cruz has to offer. We were able to write this book because everyday people recorded and shared their everyday activities. And what we're all doing today is the future history of Santa Cruz. I'm gonna go off script. <laughs> I am so honored to be receiving this award with three amazing mothers and a mother-to-be, so. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, and thank you all. This is such an honor and like a real thrill to just be able to share this work with you. I am personally so proud of this book and I know all of us are, so please buy it, please read it. The stories are really fun. Um, thank you for honoring us with the Writers of the Year. Really?